In this lecture, we are going to learn what is combined reducer of Redux. We are going to understand how to use combined reducer helper function of the Redux in the React application. So, let's see what is combined reducer function is. The combined reducer helper function turns an object, those values are different reducing functions into a single reducing function you can pass to create store. As your app grows more complex, you'll want to split your reducing functions into separate functions, each managing independent parts of your state. In the combined reducer function, you pass the different reducers. The resulting reducer call every child reducer and gather their result into a single state object. The state produced by the combined reducer function namespace, the state of each reducer under their keys as passed to the combined reducers. Let me explain what this means. Just take a look at this combined reducer method. Here I'm going to create a root reducer and I'm going to pass combined reducer helper function to it. And inside a parenthesis, I'm going to pass two reducer functions here. First is a to-do reducer and second is a counter reducer. I'm going to pass both these reducer function as an object. So the combined reducer function will grab both this reducer function and create a single state object. This statement will produce a single state object just like this. And inside both this object, we have different properties. You can use ES6 property shorthand notation as well to create this. For example, if you use combined reducer and if you pass counter and to do's like this, then this is equivalent. Now, let me create a very simple example to show you how you can use combined reducer in the Redux application. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to simply create a new folder for this example. So, inside this Redux, right here, I'm going to create a new folder and name it combined reducer example. So I'm going to say CR example. Inside this combined reducer example, I'm going to create a new file for the example and I'm going to name it combine.js. Just for that, let me create here a functional component, react functional component, and let me import this file in my index. So I'm going to back to my index file right here, get rid of this path. And right now I'm going to import combined reducer example, combine file. Let me get it off. Let me copy my combine. Here I'm going to paste my combine component like this. I'm going to leave the store as it is because I'm not going to create a new file for the store. Instead, I'm going to use this store file for that. So inside this combined reducer example, I'm going to create another file for the reducer. So I'm going to say here reducer.js. So what I'm going to do is inside my combine, here I'm going to create three buttons. I'm going to use my first button to add the to-do list second button is used for increment and third button is used for decrement. So here I'm going to create h1 heading tag and say combine reducers. Just down here I'm going to create a button and name this button add to do's. Just down here I'm going to duplicate this button, change this text and here I'm going to say increment and this became decrement as well as don't forget to add on click event to all these buttons like this. So I'm going to add here on click event to all these buttons. Just for that, I'm going to back to my reducer and here I'm going to create two different reducers. First for the to do's and second for the counter. So to create a reducer, as you know, we start with a function keyword and specify the reducer name. I'm going to say here to do's. Inside the reducer, we have two parameters state and action. I'm going to initialize this state with an empty array. So I'm going to specify here equal to sign and specify here an empty array. Just for that inside this I'm going to add here a switch statement and inside this parenthesis I'm going to say action dot type and in the curly braces I'm going to create my first case. Inside my first case in this double code I'm going to say add to do. Just for that inside this first case I'm going to return state dot concat and then I'm going to concat the value with action payload. So inside this array right here, I'm going to add my to do. So I'm going to pass that array here and inside it, I'm going to say action dot payload. I'm going to get the value from the component. Just for that, just down here, I'm going to add here default and I'm going to return state, the initial state of this reducer. So this is my first to do reducer. Just down here, I'm going to create my second reducer. So I'm going to say here function counter pass your state and action parameter. To this state, I'm going to specify initial value, which is zero. 
just down here i'm going to say switch in the parenthesis i'm going to say action dot type and inside it i'm going to create my first case so i'm going to say here case increment and in the first case i'm going to say return state plus one in the second case in the single quote decrement and if the action is equal to decrement i'm going to return state minus one don't forget to add here default case so i'm going to say here default and return a simple state just like this so as you can see here we have two reducers now what i'm going to do is i'm going to add this reducer to my store let me save this file and back to my store.js file right here i'm going to add my reducer so i'm going to first add my file here so here i'm going to say dot forward slash cr example and add here reducer file from this reducer file i'm going to export this to do and this counter so let me just add here export statement export to do's and export counter save this file back to the store and as you know we can access both these functions inside a curly braces i'm going to pass here curly braces say here to do's and counter like this just like that you don't need to pass both these functions to this parameter instead you need to create here a variable so i'm going to say here constant reducer is equal to and here you need to call combine reducer function you can notice here when i call this combine reducer this will automatically import in this curly braces so when you want to use a combined reducer you need to first import it using redux module so once you import that inside this parenthesis just pass an object pass here my first reducer to those and the second reducer which is counter like this just down here inside this store i'm going to pass this reducer this one just like this now let me save this file and back to my combine.js file inside this file let me first import some redux hooks we already know that how to import the redux hooks so i'm going to say here curly braces and i'm going to specify hooks from react redux and i'm going to import use selector and use dispatch hooks i'm going to use both these hooks inside this example so i'm going to first import that and just out of this combine right here inside this function i'm going to say constant counter is equal to you can specify any name to this variable that doesn't matter and specify here use selector and in the parenthesis as you know this will return a state so i'm going to say here state specify an arrow and return a simple state we all know how to use this use selector we already learned that in the previous lecture just of that i'm going to say here constant dispatch is equal to and then specify here use dispatch hook like this let me just console this counter so you'll understand what is happening just down here don't forget to call a dispatch method so when i click on the button i'm going to change the store so inside this on click in the first on click right here i'm going to call an arrow function and specify here dispatch and inside this parenthesis i'm going to pass my action the action is a type of add to do and as you know we are going to get the values from the user you can notice here we have the payload property as well let me pass that here so i'm going to say here payload and inside the payload i'm going to pass add to do i'm going to add another dispatch method so i'm going to say here arrow call the dispatch method like this and pass my action type so i'm going to say here type and it is a type of increment so i'm going to say here increment and just down here i'm going to add another arrow function with the dispatch method and in the parenthesis i'm going to specify type and it is a type of decrement like this now i'm going to save this file you can notice here when i reload the browser i'm going to have your combined reducer title and i'm going to get here three buttons add to do's increment and decrement you know that i have two reducer for this example you can notice here the initial state of this counter is something look like this i have the to do key and i'm going to initialize it with empty array and then i'm going to have counter with the initial value of 0 when i click on this add to do's this will just initialize this array and inside this array i have add to do's and the counter is still zero because i did not dispatch any event of the counter reducer 
When I click on the increment, this will call the counter reducer and you will have the one value inside your counter. Let me click on the increment again. This will increase the value of the counter by one and I'm going to have to do as it is. Let me click on the decrement. This will decrease the value of the counter by one. And when I click on the add to do again, this is going to add the to do inside this array. You can notice here. So basically the combined reducer is going to combine two reducer and create a single object. I have to do reducer and a counter reducer. Both are working together using combined reducer helper function. Practice with this example to understand how to work with combined reducer. Next, we're going to see how to use apply middleware helper function.